The researchers looked at minerals feldspar and zircon left over from the eruption, which helped them understand the timing of the event as well as gases such as argon and helium that are trapped in the volcanic rocks to understand how supervolcanoes work and why they erupt about once every 17,000 years. Using these geochronological data, statistical inference and thermal modeling, we showed that magma continued to ooze out within the caldera, or deep depression created by the eruption of magma for 5,000 to 13,000 years after the super eruption, and then the carapace of silicified leftover magma was pushed upward like a giant turtle shell, Danasik said. Super volcanoes such as Toba Caldera have erupted multiple times in their history, but understanding what happens between these eruptions, in the lengthy dormant eruptions, can help scientists have a better idea of when they will erupt next. Danasik added, learning when and how eruptible magma accumulates, and in what state the magma is in before and after such eruptions, is critical for understanding supervolcanoes, Danasik said.